Space travel looks cool and easy in the movies, but in reality, it is not only a difficult task, but a dangerous endeavor. It would require a company as ambitious as SpaceX and a leader as crazy as Elon Musk to pull it off. The aerospace company is proceeding with its preparation of the Starship SN24 and Super Heavy Booster 7 prototypes for their initial flight. The flight is scheduled to launch from the Boca Chica area in Texas and terminate along the northwest coast of Kauai, Hawaii. The flight will be an avenue for engineers to test the operational concepts for the launch system of Starship. It's also an opportunity to obtain technical data needed for the speedy development of the spaceship. If you are excited about the progress being made, then let's go into the details of the outcomes of the extremely dangerous tests that have been carried out so far, and what other worries are still hurdles to be surmounted. First, an update on the tests that have just been carried out. On November 12th, SpaceX conducted an unprecedented full-duration static fire test of 14 Super Heavy rocket engines. Static fire tests are a type of pre-flight test that involves a brief firing of a rocket's engine when the vehicle is still on the ground. The static fire test represents a major advancement towards orbital launch. It involved more than four times the number of Raptor engines ignited during any Starship test flight. Notwithstanding, a significant gap still exists to be worked on to establish the flightworthiness of the Booster 7 Super Heavy prototype. The booster boasts of a whopping 33 Raptor V2 engines. Just 14 of the 33 Raptor V2 engines were powered. That would be the first time SpaceX is igniting 14 engines at the same time. The highest ever ignited prior to this test was 7. These Raptor engines use a combination of cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen as fuel. The combination is sometimes called methalox. The engines each have the capacity to produce around 230 tons of force, while the combined thrust power of the 33 Raptor V2 engines can amount to over 6,000 tons. The engines have never been ignited simultaneously, however, we may expect to witness that happening soon before the Starship SN24 would make its orbital launch. The Starship SN24 prototype uses six Raptor engines. In a static fire test conducted on the 8th of September, they were all fired at the same time by SpaceX. Of all the previous tests done on Starship prototypes, none have gone higher than a mere 10 kilometers into the skies. Also, none has featured as super heavy. There is reason to be anxious. So what plans are underway for safer tests? SpaceX's employees have been at work on the insulation of the legs of the orbital launch mount, OLM, as part of measures to test the fire suppression system ahead of the static fire test. Although the shielding might not be exactly necessary for the 14-engine static fire test, it is a safety measure for protecting the pipes and cables that go into the launching mount and ahead of a full 33-engine static fire test and launch later. The fire suppression system has undergone two tests during a spin prime test back on November 10th. The first of these tests happened as the methane gas was getting displaced from the air with just the nitrogen pressure system. The second came later during the course of the test. All through the 14-engine static fire test, SpaceX planned to use the entire nitrogen and water suppression systems on the pad as a way of obtaining important data on the quality of the critical protection system of the pad. Development of shielding and protective panels to be placed on the Starship launch tower are still underway. This is an addition to cladding panels that can be seen nearby, which goes to show that they will be deployed to protect the tower for the launch of the most powerful rocket ever developed. The latest test is coming following the appointment of SpaceX President and Chief Operating Officer Gwyn Shotwell as Lead Overseer of Starship Development at the Starbase in Boca Chica. This is probably due to Elon Musk's greater preoccupation with his newly acquired social media platform, Twitter, 
as he's been spending more time at the California headquarters of the social media platform lately. The exact date for the first full stacked orbital flight of the Starship Super Heavy is not known yet, but if the further tests proceed without hiccups, it is possible that the flight happens before the end of the year 2022. In the next few weeks, there's an expectation for Starship SN24 to reset up on Booster 7. Musk had hinted in October that the next big test is probably full stack wet dress rehearsal, then 33 engine firing in a few weeks. In the meantime, engineers remain hard at work at the Starbase factory, constructing a fleet of shiny stainless steel starships. Each of these will go through the same series of tests until SpaceX perfects the final iterative details of the launch system expected to return NASA astronauts to the moon and ferry the humans in their numbers to Mars. The aim of SpaceX is that by 2024 they will have a starship ready for crewed flights, launching astronauts from NASA as well as commercial flights. The development of the SpaceX Starship can be traced back to 2012. Elon Musk had publicly revealed a top-level plan to develop a reusable rocket system. This system would have greater capabilities than the Falcon 9 rocket and the Falcon Heavy, which was then also in plan. The idea since then has gone through several design evolutions and changes in the nomenclature. And by 2019, the Starhopper prototype of the Starship had its first successful flight test at the Boca Chica Starbase of SpaceX. The SN-15 prototype made the first successful takeoff and landing in May 2021. There are some special features that make this rocket unlike anything we have ever seen before. The Starship system comprises the Super Heavy Initial Stage Booster and the Starship Second Stage. The Starship Second Stage will serve as a self-contained spacecraft once it gets into orbit. Both components are powered by Raptor engines also developed by SpaceX. Raptor engines combust liquid oxygen and liquid natural gas propellants. The two rocket components are designed to land vertically in order to be quickly reused. The Super Heavy booster is capable of a boost back burn and the Starship can make a belly first descent in an atmospheric re-entry. The rocket's utility is expected to include launching satellites, including a major part of SpaceX's next generation Starlink constellation. It is also going to be used for human spaceflight like transporting space station crew, space tourism, and ultimately transporting humans to Mars. The moment it's in orbit, the spacecraft can also be refueled by Starship propellant tankers before embarking on higher energy space destinations like the Moon and Mars. From its inception up to the last static test on November 14th, the Starship idea continues to mature, and its realization is no longer a thing of doubt or open to debates. While it is true the exact date of its full launch and use in interplanetary human transport is unknown, a giant step has been taken further, and we are sure many more are to be taken in the coming days, weeks, and months. Take the bold step of subscribing to this channel for more updates on this project. Show us you love space exploration by clicking the like button. Thanks for watching.